Hi, happy Saturday, how is everyone? How's your bank holiday weekend going? It's quite nice where I am. The sun is out, you know, a bit deceiving, all right? Freezing my tits off down the beach. I've took the kids down the beach this afternoon. So yeah, they've had a game of football on the beach. It is rammed. Let me tell you where I live is absolutely bloody rammed. It's nice, but yeah, I'm gonna pour a drink. I feel a bit sunk, oh, my draining board's wet. So it's dripping. <laughs> So, yeah, I've had this in my fridge for so long. It is a Pessoa, it says. The passion drink with real passion fruit. This little bottle is 20%, it says. So I'm gonna mix it with, bleh, I where's that? I've not even had any yet. <laughs> with a bit of this um, Ribena sparkling raspberry. I fancy it, you know, I fancy a little bit. So I've got me, do you remember these from the um, job that I did? I'm gonna pour a bit, so, oh. I'm gonna have a drink. Oh, I think this cup's a bit dirty, don't mind that. Welcome to my house. I really fancy it, you know. Steve's got all these weird and wonderful beers. I don't know if this is gonna taste very nice with this um, sparkling raspberry, but I'm gonna give it a go. But yeah, I hope you've had a good weekend, you know, whatever you're up to. I haven't filmed for two days. So I've just been to Lidl and Heron. I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do my shopping, you know? So I am trying to be a bit more savvy with the food shop because you know I need to rein it back a bit just make sure I'm you know spending like eating what I'm spending you'd think I'd already had a glass wouldn't you that don't make sense does it you know what I mean I'm trying to just making fuck me jeez I'm trying to make sure we're not wasteful you know I don't want to be wasteful so yeah I'm trying to save as well we're trying to save up so we've looked at all areas you know and decided the food shop we need to be a bit more you know prepared because we go shopping with no list no nothing i made a list so we go and we're like oh we'll have this this and this then get home and realize well actually there's not many meals do you know what i mean so i've done a bit of research and i took this with me today so you know meal prepping a bit of everything so you know sausage chips and beans <laughs> good old staple Chicken pasta, you know, chicken, peppers, onions, cream, you know, chicken kebab box, like a fake, fake away type thing. I came across this one, right? This recipe sounds amazing. So it's just rice, corned beef, sweet corn, onions, peppers, all purpose seasoning, chopped tomatoes. Oh my God, it's, it's so nice. But I'm gonna try this. I'm not really a drinker, you know. I just fancy it. I've got Radio 1 dance anthems on. All right, but I'm not really a drinker. I will if like the occasion calls for it, you know, if I fancy it or like if we're in a beer garden, but I'm usually the driver, so I don't really have a drink. But yeah, I'm not really a drinker. I'm more of a coffee and sofa girl. Get me my duvet, bit of teller, you know. So I'll probably just have this. I won't finish this 20% thing. I don't even know. Like how can that be 20%? I mean, that's about gone actually. I don't know if you can see. I didn't think I put that much in. Can you hear a crash? Down at my feet, bloody chewing the cupboards. Let's have a try then. It's a bit bland. There's not much to it. I probably be like, this is bread. <laughs> I've got some milk. <laughs> Just, don't mind me. I'm a, such a lightweight Larry, honestly. Like one glass of wine and my legs feel funny, so. There's probably about 10%. If that's 20, it's probably about 10 in there. I'm not too bad. First bag. I popped into um, Heron as well, so I'll show you the bits from Heron. So I've got some bread, 36p. And it was quite soft. I don't usually go for the cheap, cheap bread. But I thought, Do you know what? Bread's bread. And it's quite soft. If it was solid, I wouldn't have gone for it. But 36p, you know. Got some wraps, right? So these ones were 55p thought weren't bad so you get eight in here they are the mini ones 97 calories per wrap but um i'm gonna make like a chicken kebab type thing with wraps and chips and stuff so yeah i got a lasagna sauce this was 65p so i'm not sure why did i get that oh yeah spag bowl we've got a spag bowl one day i got some cream this is for my creamy chicken pasta so peppers chicken you know a bit of garlic salt and just all your seasonings and stuff bit of cream pasta mix it all together you know and then some sausages the, ooh, 
bit of do they do. So eight Irish style sausages. These were, I think they're 89p, but they're really nice. So it was a big yawn crash. And then frozen veg. Always get this in, especially with trying to budget and save money and stuff because I mean unless like Aldi or Lidl have the um, offers on I mean they had a bag of carrots for 19p but everything else had been wiped out you know because like it's quite busy bank holiday so most things have been wiped out but and obviously Aldi do is it the super six they do something like that I don't know I've not been to Aldi for a while but um mixed vegetables freshly frozen 75p you get quite a bit in there so you know when you want to what I do with the kids is you know if I'm making like a pasta dish and I want to give them some veggies you know, I'll just like chuck a portion of that in. And then I got some um, chicken breast fillets. So you get two in here. These were 199 they were. That's it, 199 So I'm gonna slice that up, you know, and whack it in the uh, bits and bobs. Whack it in bits and bobs. I feel one for the last as I do. I feel very um, sunburnt. Mixed with dodgy tan as well. I've been applying tan this week. I mean, you can see all up my arm and stuff, but yeah, I feel rough as arses. I need to go and have a shower, put my PJs on, you know, but yeah, I just really fancy the drink, you know, just 29p pasta. Oh, it's a bit of onion. 29p pasta. Oh, the cream, by the way, was 85p. I spent around, I think it was just under 25 pound in Lidl, but quite a bit. So yeah, pasta, me chicken, and I'm doing this about 30p I'm sure. Fat free yogurt as well, this was 45p. I've seen people, you know when they're like making like tandoori chicken and stuff, put yogurt, you know when like they leave it in the fridge to marinate for a bit. So they put all their chicken in with like yogurt and herbs and spices and stuff. Then I got this all purpose seasoning. This was £1.9, so this is what I'm gonna use mainly in the week. I thought, you know, I need to start using up some of my herbs and spices on my rack. So I do use them quite a bit, to be honest. But, you know, there's some in there that... Do you know what I make fresher meals? And, like, just get some chicken, season it, or, you know, whatever I'm cooking with. A big bag of onions. These were only a quid, you know, for a family pack, which I thought weren't bad because I'm going through no end of onions at the minute. You know, I found myself this past week especially just using loads of onions and then i got four of these these were the only ones they had they do have some that are 10p cheaper so these were like 32p i usually get the steve will always get the ring pull one for like absolute ease i don't mind getting the tin opener out you know save 10p per tin but you know that's just steve so yeah i got four of these because i'm going to do like um jacket potatoes one day in the week with cheese and beans and whatnot so and then obviously for sausage chips and beans i've not bought chips i do usually buy frozen chips but what i'm going to do is just make me i bought this to fuck off sack of squads for two pounds 67. do you know what i've just thought i've been looking into buying weights to do a bit of weight training you know a bit of the old kettlebell like a bit of all that this is quite heavy. I could maybe lift this. I've seen people do it with like bottled water. So maybe I could do it with a sack of spuds. This weighs, what does it say? Uh, 7.5 kg for this big sack of spuds. So I could lift that, you know. That might work. But yeah, I got this big one, £2.67 for all these spuds. You know, I can make roasters, chips, wedges, but that's what I'm gonna do. No more frozen chips this week anyway. The kids prefer it in the air fryer. You can bang all your seasoning on. You know, you chuck a bit of this. I mean, I've got chip spice, but you can chuck a bit of the old all-purpose on. You know, make your own wedges in the air fryer, 20 minutes, you know? So yeah, big sack of spuds. Definitely a must have, I think, you know, a budget in. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Since being out in the sun, honestly, I feel very hot. Like, really hot and, um... Do you know what I mean? You know, when you sit out in the sun, you don't realise it because it was quite windy, so I thought, no. Can't be arsed with makeup today. I don't wear it every day. I used to think that, you know, just put makeup on to film a video. I can't be arsed anymore. As you get older, you just realise, I can't be arsed with this. I don't wear makeup all the time. Do you know what I mean? 95% of the time, I look like a toe. A big fuck-off toe. It was only like my toe. My toe's a right big square one. Big fuck off TV toe. You know, just me and my moon head. 
I can't be asked. Honestly, I do wear makeup and then most of the time I don't. So I thought, you know what? I used to think, right, if I'm going to film a video, a haul video or whatever I'm doing, you know, I've got to put makeup on and you just, oh, I haven't. Do you know what I mean? I don't care. I do not care. That's how you should be in life. Just don't care, honestly. I'll cheers myself to that because I just stop caring, honestly. Stop caring what people think about absolutely anything. I know this is a little haul, but I've had half a drink. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. It wouldn't affect me at all, she says. But what I'm saying is, like, just honestly, stop caring. Seriously, stop caring. So, you know, just enjoy your life. Do you? If you want to wear makeup, wear it. If you don't, you don't. Do you know what I mean? Onto this bag. And I got some chicken thighs. So, I'm going to make something for those. I don't know what. <laughs> I've got my list. What does my list say? The chicken thighs are for my, um wraps that I'm going to do so yeah they were £1.99 got a tin of corned beef for that recipe that I told you about so this was £1.99 as well it used to be about £1.60 you know it has gone up in price I wish they would just um do a normal tin I can't this pisses me off this really pisses me off you know another tin of beans and then I got some yogurts so for a 12 pack these were 75p they're pretty much petty flues you know don't be fooled honestly don't be fooled and then i got some crab sticks 75p each per pack i do love my crab stick salad one of my favorite things at lunch i also got some 25 percent mints you know i usually get the five percent it is such a massive price difference i think this was like one pound 49 or something daft like that and the other ones anything up to four quid that's quite a jump you know so i you know yeah i'm just gonna give it a chance i have had it recently and i didn't find anything up with it i know it's purely like fat content as well but i do find the um the 25 percent sometimes can be a bit more i don't know you end up like yeah uh, do you know what i mean chewing on something that you know is not supposed to be there <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go. I tend to usually have like vegetarian mints, corn mints, you know, and I have got some from Herring, which I'll show you in a minute, but I didn't get that till after, so I still wouldn't have got it, but I got a family bag of peppers. I found that I was using a lot of peppers last week. This was 99p, random green one in there. I'm not a fan of the green ones. It tastes like shit, but you know. In spag bol, it's quite nice. And then 19p carrots. Like I said, they had other offers as well. So a bag of potatoes, like a, I don't know what the word, I don't know what spuds the word, but they were 19p, spring onions were cheap, shallots were like 29p or 39p were there, I can't remember. They had kale and stuff like that. So they do have offers on the veg, which I think is really good. Chopped tomatoes, they did have a cheaper one, but this is the only one that were left. Like I said, everything's wiped out. And some sweet corn for the corned beef dish. Everything I'm gonna show you now is from the oven, so. My dog is trying to get out the door because the kids are playing. I got some Crave. This is only a pound, only a quid. Absolute bargain. So Tyler, right? He'll have his main meal. I've got like stacks of everything here now. You won't be able to see me in a minute. But um, someone said the wrong the other day. Do you stand or sit? I'm stood. So yeah, I actually really like the thought of being sat down though. So I might get a stall. <laughs> You know, like a bar stool type thing. I used to have one in one of my houses that I used to live in before. The kitchen, we had a few bar stools. It was really nice, actually. What was I saying? Tyler, he'll have his main meal and then he'll always have cereal before bed. He's honestly, he loves his cereal. So I've got an extra box in because they go through no end. And then Steve's coffee as well, which were a quid. Got some cheese on offer as well. So this was supposed to be a quid, but it was down to 50p. So I've got two. I didn't know how much it was going to be so I got to the till and I asked her if she'd just run it through just to see. Yeah, this was 50p each so I got two. They love cheese as well. I got another fire log. This was £1.29. So I've really enjoyed having the fire pit up with the kids. At first I was like, bloody hell, because it was quite big. Like the flames were quite high. But then it like calmed down a bit. This is what I got. These were three for a pound. This is umph mince. So it's just like corn, three bags, 49p each or three for a pound. So I wouldn't, you know, I've got this if I'd have known, but I 
I thought I can't miss three for a pound, you know. So yeah, vegetarian. You can make burgers and all sorts for that. You know, add your seasoning, onions. And then the last thing, two for a pound on the Tropicana. They've got orange as well. But I got orange last week, so I thought I'd get apple this time. Oh, bloody hell. So that is everything from my food shop. I needed to go and get a few bits, so yeah. I um yeah. oh yeah that's everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um I I've got to pack this away now and get dinner on. So I might do corned beef tonight, I think. I don't know. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always my friends, don't only if you care to get you down, you're absolutely fucking amazing. I hope you enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend and I'll see you in my next video.